Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wuja, and today, as the title suggests, I'll bring you guys along on my journey of prepping my Aritzia clientele cart. And today, let me tell you guys a secret I found out through the Aritzia subreddit group. And if you guys are not in there and you love Aritzia, you should definitely go join that group. I am not at all associated with that group. I just really love that group, and I think it's very supportive and very helpful if you have any questions that you want to be answered in like pretty real time. So anyways, um, from that group, someone has noticed that Aritzia has been hiring for some floor staffs through other stores and somewhere in the job description Aritzia mentioned that if you want to apply for the job you must be able to work from June 7th to June 27th because that is their clientele sale season that is a pretty solid giveaway and even if that date is not exactly correct from my past couple of years of shopping at Ritzia's clientele sale, it definitely sounds very reasonable. I mean, it has always started somewhere um, in the beginning of June to mid-June, so it shouldn't be like too far off from that date anyways. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'll bring you guys along and I have my iPad here. I'm all comfortable on my couch and I'll take you through most of the Aritzia catalog. And I think right now I really want to give myself the time to just go through the catalog properly and taking my time with it just because the catalog is so big. It's so easy to miss something good and really take time to favor everything that I want to check out during the sale. If you're not familiar with Aritzia clientele sale, I'll just quickly give you guys like a gist of it. It's like a private sale that they kind of like hand out to everyone who's on their mailing list depending on how much you spend with them um, on an annual basis and obviously the more you spend with them um, the higher up you are in that tier and the earlier you get to shop the sale you don't get more discount you just get earlier access to the discounts and prior to COVID times I think that sales honestly isn't that good it's only good in the sense that literally every single item is on sale if I just google image any year's clientele sale over here I see that um, probably a lot of the brands that most of us will be interested in would only be like 10% off and that includes TNA, Wilfred, Wilfred Free, Fabulous Han, Denim Forum, Sunday Best. So that pretty much covers everything that I would buy from Aritzia and they have another group which is the 20% off tier group and that includes 10 by Babaton, Auxiliary, Main Character, Levi's. Oh and interestingly a Goldie is on the 20% off. Um, in this particular year that I'm looking at. It didn't really say which year though, but yeah. Um, but it was kind of different last year. So if you just started shopping at Ritzia last year, um, you might get lucky because last year, I think pandemic just hit North America and they were really encouraging people to spend. So they did give out a much better sale, at least for the June sale. So I'm really hoping this year will be the exact same thing, but if not, I mean, you get off. So yeah, so since we got all that out of the way, let's start browsing the website and in the end, I'll let you guys know what are some of my picks for the clientele sale and I'll also let you guys know what are some of my recommendations based on the items that I already own and yeah, let's just get started. <laughs> and how about let's start with um, tank tops. I feel like the ribbed tank tops are definitely extremely in style this year. I hear a lot of really good things on the Sunday Best Honor Tank. The price is really not bad at just $20. So let's say if it's 10% off, it's $18 and it's got 26 different colors. I personally tried, only tried the white and it was very see-through. So I definitely don't recommend getting the white color, but I mean, there's so many other colors. I feel like you can't really go wrong with black. Usually darker colors are more forgiving in terms of how the quality is. There's also a longer length version, which personally, I think it's a bit too long. I feel like the classic one is at a pretty good length. It doesn't look particularly cropped. I'm sure this girl is really tall. If it looks that cropped on her body, it should look fine on me. She is 5 feet 11, I guess it will look fine on most of us. So yeah, that's definitely one item I want to check out again, just not in white. I also have my eye on the Orbit tank for the longest time. While they have a lot of colors again, I think I've really been- Oh, I hate it when this happens, when you click on a size and it says it won't ship until- This one is not even that bad, it's only June 12th. There's some other items I say that it won't ship until like end of August. I'm like, hey, do you not know how short Canadian summer is? End of August. That's end of summer. And I've also had this tank top a few years ago, the tiny tank. 
it wasn't the best quality it absolutely started peeling pretty quickly so I wouldn't really recommend that one I mean there's a lot of items that are, that look really similar I have the new halter tank and I really love it just keep in mind that it's not really stretchy um, I have it in a size extra small in black and it looks awesome sculpt neck tank is another item that I absolutely absolutely recommend I also recommend you guys to go check out my all-time favorite Aritzia items and this was one of them and especially this particular color that she's wearing right now which I I am pretty sure is called matte pearl so I have it in the exact same one that she's wearing right now and I've been wearing it for years and it kept its shape it's such good quality even at $58 so the cropped one is $58 even at $58 I think it's absolutely worth it I've been seeing that they're also coming out with these padded t-shirts. I've tried them before just because I thought the idea was so cool. But as someone who's not very tall, it um, weighted me down, which I didn't end up returning. Maybe I feel like something like this, like the Levine tank, would be better just because the shoulders are not so structured and it doesn't look so heavy. It might still give off that really cool vibe without having to weigh you down. <sighs> and I also heard great things about the the mini bra top I haven't tried yet definitely want to try them once again I feel like the white color would be very see-through they do such a great job at photoshopping out the see-throughness huh I'm just so into yellow right now that's why you're seeing me click into everything that's yellow yeah orange looks really cute too yep. favorite that one and and I also have the Babaton contour muscle muscle bodysuit in a white color which i purchased last year and i've been wearing it non-stop throughout the whole entire summer absolutely love it the quality is completely worth its price i know it sounds kind of expensive for a body suit tank top but trust me the quality is amazing okay i feel like their stuff is getting repetitive again i feel like if you're a daring type of girl it's these kind of um bra top shirts definitely look very interesting actually i also love this this top just looks so retro and Tennessee. Tennessee, is that a word? Tennessee? <laughs> mm, I guess that's it. Let's look at blouses. So another tip that I have for shopping at Ritzia is that if you see something that you like that's not in a solid color, for example, a print or like a pattern, chances are it will go on a deeper discount. But don't quote me on this, it doesn't always guarantee to go on a steeper discount, but I just feel like a lot of times, especially if you're looking at the more artistic prints as opposed to um, like a more simpler pattern, um, you know, some of those more like in-house developed prints that they come up with, those usually will go on a steeper discount as opposed to a solid color. And also been hearing a lot of people talk about the Pelly shirt jacket in this um, pleather material. I personally just cannot stand pleather. Or leather I don't know like just the feeling of touching it and knowing that's on my body just kind of grosses me out so I would never consider it but whenever I see other people wear it it definitely do look very fashionable and such a statement piece Bella camisole I absolutely love as well um, I purchased one of the printed version for like $35 um, at a really good price and generally, I really like Aritzia's print as well. They definitely do very tasteful, tasteful kind of prints. Um, so it really doesn't bother me that a lot of times I get prints. It really helps me to get outside of my comfort zone of only wearing solids. Oh, the Saga blouse. I love the Saga blouse. I have one of that as well. And also this one, the short sleeve version. Funny thing is that I have both of these. I bought both of these um, at a really steep discount because I got a pattern version of them, which I think they look great. I think these flowy button ups looks really nice as well. The novella blouse looks so romantic. Almost kind of looks like a corset. If this is comfortable, mm, elegance, not really happy. Not really flattering. I've tried on the novella dress and I feel like personally you do need a bit of a chest to kind of fill up this heart shape and I just really don't have any. It didn't really flatter me at all but if you have I think like a smaller to a medium sized chest I think this will look great. 
um, you know, they really need more variety of models here. I just feel like every model here has a relatively small chest. So for a lot of their items, I don't really know how it's going to look like for someone who's bustier on top. Especially this year, I feel like a lot of the items that they come out with are not really like bust friendly. A lot of dresses that I tried on, I just can't imagine some of their dresses providing like a good amount of coverage for someone who has a bigger cup size. Oh, I also love this, this print. This also looks really good. Just a very, this just looks like a very plain and simple white button up. But at the same time, it kind of reminds me of the button up that I'm wearing right now, which is from H&M. I think it was like $20. This kind of gives off that kind of vibe. Um, what else do we want to take a look? Let's take a look at dresses. That's also interesting. Ooh, well for only slip dress. I think they have a different variation of this every year. The Tempest dress definitely hands down one of my favorite dress ever purchased from Eritrea. I love this dress. I'm so glad that they came out with so many different colors this year. It's just, it's perfect. It's such a comfortable dress. This looks really cute as well. It has a bit of a vintage vibe. Oh, this is another variation of the Tempest dress. Is it in linen? Yeah, it's in linen. How do you guys feel about wearing linen? I know linen is always a very popular material in the summertime, but I personally just can't stand it because of the wrinkling. Mm. Oh, this dress is cute. This really reminds me of one of another dress that Wilfred has. The Fable dress. This really looks like the Fable dress, maybe for half of the price. Simple t-shirt dress. Here we go, that's the Fable dress. The Wilfred Only Mini slip dress, I don't really recommend. I've tried this in store um, a year ago or two years ago. I can't, I can't even remember now, but it just reminded me too much of like an underdress layer or like a lingerie. I just can't see myself wearing this outside as a dress. I feel like the only slip long dress is definitely a lot more wearable than this mini version. Oh, and this other one, the Giona dress, it looks so cute. So romantic. It kind of looks like the elbow dress, but it's a bit shorter and has a slit. I'm personally kind of over the slit thing. I have too many dresses that has a slit. Over the past years, I think Aritzia has been coming out with so many dresses with slits. As a result, I ended up with a lot of dresses with slits. Um, oh, the Wilfred Saturn mini dress. I often hear people talk about this dress as well. I think it's so unique. It's got relatively good ratings. Not relatively, it, it's got pretty good ratings. It looks like it will be a very com comfortable dress to wear. Oh, this is another dress that I've been eyeing. The Sunday Best Miles dress. I just think it looks very sporty chic, very tennis vibe. Just because I feel like I'm personally a bit too old to wear tennis skirts, especially the pleated ones. Um, so I feel like this might get my tennis itch out of the way. Oh, the novella dress. I love how it looks like on her, but on me, it just doesn't really look the same. This looks really cute too. I feel like this dress looks very classy. Oh no, it's already sold out. The orchestra dress. Looks very classy lady feeling. It's got a very deep V, but a very classy kind of deep V. Oh, this one. This one looks even more like the Wilfred Fable dress. There's just so many very similar styles on their website right now. It's kind of frustrating to look through everything. Even from like a price point stand view, this one is 10 this one is 110 and I think the Fable dress is only like $10 more expensive. So it's not really providing that much variety in terms of style or price. And this one, once again, the Sunday Best Melody dress looks so much like the Wilfred Piper dress. Oh, gosh, I wish they could just stop doing that. Stop making your catalog so damn big. The Bello dress that would absolutely recommend and now they got more colors and patterns of 
a bolo dress. What is a beach dress? I didn't know they have a beach dress. Oh, okay. The skirt is just like the beach skirt. And I guess now they made it into a dress. Uh, the cove dress is also another one of the pretty popular dresses. I feel like this one is definitely very body shape flattering. Really hugs your body. Personally, I just think that this is too much for like a sweater dress that's body shaping. There's tons of other places that do um, body shaping sweater dresses. You don't necessarily have to pay a hundred over a hundred dollars for them. This province dress. Oh, I fell in love with this dress when it was released, but the sheer price of this was really just stopping me from purchasing. And there's this dress, the new Aki dress from Sunday Best. For some reason, this dress really reminds me of something from something that um, that good little girl from Adam's family would wear. I guess that's it for dresses. That was a long list. Okay, moving on, let's take a look at um, sweats. How about TNA sweats or just sweats in general? They have a sweat section. Sweatsuits, there you go. So now they have TNA sweats, Wilfer Free Sweats, Sunday Best Sweat, and the group by Babbitton Sweats. Wow, talk about variety, right? Okay, just so that I get this out of the way, and generally, I am generally not very pleased with the quality from the TNA sweats line. Um, I feel like for around $80 for a boyfriend whatnot item, it's just a bit too much for the kind of quality that you get. I'd rather pay a bit more to get the Wilfer Free Sweats or like, if you want to talk about outside of Arutia, even pay a bit more to get something from Lululemon. I just feel like the TNA ones are a bit overpriced for what you get, but that could just purely be me because tons of people love TNA sweats. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. I am looking to purchase a set of this butter light yellow colored sweatsuit along with a sweat short. Sweat shorts has definitely been very in style. Okay, sure, why not? We'll take a look at the TNA sweats. Um, so particularly, I think, I think I'm really done with drawstring. I really don't want more drawstrings. Um, the drawstrings kind of make it annoying to have a shirt over that drawstring part. Three inch sweat shorts. Is there a longer sweat shorts? Also, I'm pretty weird. I don't exactly like stuff that's fleeced. I do tend to gravitate towards the airy, the airy, which is the terry material a lot more than the fleece material, which really limits my options. Let's just take a look. Right now, I'm on the fleecy material fabric and there's just an insane amount of colors. Like this color is so nice. So when I go to the airy color, you can see you instantly lose a lot more options. Oh, there's a pocketed one. But of course, they only have fleece version. And I personally wouldn't go anything shorter than three inch. If there is even like a five inch, I think five inch would have been awesome as well. Is there a five inch? I feel like I've seen in five inch. <sighs> and I think maybe I'll check out one of the cozy fleece cropped boyfriend crew neck. Butter yellow, yes. I want something in butter yellow. What kind of pants is she wearing here? This is two inch? This does not look like she's wearing a two inch. Come on. Oh, and oh, skirts. So if you guys are looking to sport the popular tennis trend right now, I feel like the tennis skirt is a definitely a very good option. It also has a built-in shorts underneath the skirt. I first saw this on the Lululemon website. They have one like that as well, where they have a tennis skirt and underneath is a pair of um, just um, like biker shorts. I thought it was a great idea, but like I don't play tennis. So for the sheer reason of fashion, I thought it was too expensive. But I believe the Aritzia alternative is a lot more affordable if you're not using it for performance reasons. Okay, now we're moving to Wilfred Free. <sighs> Wilfred Free does cost a bit more. Oh, Wilfred Free has 5 inch. I think 5 inch is actually really good. This is not butter yellow, this is GD Morning Yellow. 
I also find that the Wilfred Free sweat stuff just drapes a lot better. I wish they could have used the same colors across your different brands as well. Like I feel like Wilfred Free definitely has some different colors from TNA. And I, I definitely recommend this Wilfred Free Terry Fleece Zip Up. I have one in the light blue color, which they don't have anymore. It looks so great. It drapes so well. I love the shape of it so much better than the Aritzia ones. Yes, I have this one. The one that this girl is wearing, this is the pop that she has up there, uh, right here. GD Zen. This is the zip up that I absolutely love. Although this one is in the GD color, I've watched it a ton of times already. I had absolutely no issues with the color coming off or color blotching. So, which makes me think that maybe like the GD colors are a lot more forgiving if you were to buy a lighter color. All my other GD items that are out more on the darker side that I bought for winter and fall time definitely had a lot of, a lot of color blotching issues. But for this light blue one, I didn't notice anything. Maybe there was a bit, just a tiny bit of um, color fading around like the cuffs and stuff. But it just looks like it wasn't intended like that. Sunday best. Man, it just it seems like it's the same thing over and over. The group at Babaton. Um, so there's one sweater from Babaton. It looks really it looked really interesting to me. Just need to find it. Is it this one? Yeah, so it's this sweatshirt by Babaton. It kind of has that look where you fold it in. You know how a lot of girls will like to tuck their their end of their sweater into their sweatpants. So this one comes pre-looking like that, which I think is pretty cool. You see how like the bottom is like that and it's tight and it looks like you tucked it in. And someone in the comments, I think when I read also said that it looks like as if you tucked it in. I uh, can't find it anymore, but yeah, I'm pretty intrigued by this one. But it is the price is quite steep at almost a hundred dollars for a sweatshirt. How about now? Let's go to my wish list and I'll show you guys what I want to seriously consider for the sale and some of the items that I want to recommend you guys because I've also favorited those items as well, so I don't forget them. First one, the saga blouse. I definitely recommend. It is a very easy, very comfortable and romantic looking piece for the summer. Another thing is weirdly their TNA socks. I love their TNA socks. I think the thickness is great. The quality is great. It's $15 for three right now. So making it like $5 each pair. And they have like a bajillion different colors. Like for example, the solid one, look how many colors they have. I have this white one and I'm thinking of purchasing a heathered one. Obviously a butter yellow one because I'm so so crazy about that right now. And their contu bodysuits. I feel like the Bacanti I forgot if I mentioned this. This video has been going on for quite a while. Um, if I haven't, anything from the contour line is perfect. I love it. It's very true to size. I personally wear an extra small in their contour bodysuit line. I wanted to try something that's long sleeve this time. Oh, the jazz dress is already sold out. Something else I really want to consider is the Anthem shorts. Um, Anthem shorts, just a very dressy pair of shorts that I think it will pair really well with a lot of tops. Another item I highly would recommend is the effortless pants. Uh, right now it's sold out again. I tried it in store, it looks awesome. I think a pair of trousers like this can easily be dressed down with like a crop tank top like this, or if you wanna dress it up, um, wear like a blouse and tuck it in. Um, if you wear it with sneakers, you can definitely make it very street and very edgy. If you wear it with like heels or loafers, you can definitely look very professional as well. Extremely flexible and versatile. Oh, this is the Piper dress I was talking about. I saw a lot of people wearing this on um, the Reddit group chat. Um, sorry, not group chat. The the Reddit um, the Reddit group, and it looks amazing on a lot of people. I think if you have nice looking shoulders, this could definitely show off that as well. The Fable dress is definitely that something that I want to pick up as well. I was really hoping for them to release some more summery colors because if you watch my other Aritzia summer dress video. I got this one in a really lovely print and it was just unfortunately way too close to my skin tone and it just made me look very naked. 
this particular bell dress i've been eyeing for the longest time i finally got my hands on it but if you guys ever see this come back in stock just get it to run run and get this dress because this dress is so romantic i love the color and the flower absolutely everything about this dress is perfect and if you get the get this at like 10 percent off i think it's great um i know it's pretty expensive but i just feel like it's totally worth it at least to me I think I'm definitely getting the Sculpt Nick crisscross tank as well. Since I already know I love the material, it holds up so well. And I just think, you know, this look just looks very interesting as opposed to our normal like tank top that just goes straight down like this. I think this is definitely a great alternative. So yeah, I think that is all for today. I've done so much talking, I am losing my voice. If there's any other item that you want to recommend me to take a look, I definitely would love to know that. Um, so yeah, and if you're new to Aritzia, go check out my video on my absolute favorite Aritzia pieces of all time. That's a really good starting point. So yeah, I guess that is all. Happy browsing and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.